started out in El Cajon, it was really at like um, a, I think it was a panini store, some sort of a food establishment. And when we came in, we ripped out everything and kind of you know transferred into a chocolate kitchen. But it was really never set up for that. There was no storage, yeah. really nothing for us to expand. So we grew. And I always wanted kind of a, a, a warehouse like this where you can have an office space in the front, you know, manufacturing in the middle and a warehouse in the back. So I'm kind of in my medium right now because ultimately what I'd like is a space just like this, but with a little bit of a retail too mm. and obviously nicer, but it was perfect for us. We moved here. And so basically in the front here, this is where shipping happens, shipping and packaging. My small little office over here. And then we have... The production is really where the chocolate is made is back here. Feel free to come back here because it's just me now. Oh. So over the years we added on some machineries. So we have these two tampering machines. We oh have my gosh. Then we have our, you know, this is where our coloring booth where it gets creative and messy. Can I look? Yeah, of course, go, go. I mean, just the smell. Mm. I wish people could smell through picture and video, right? It's a little messy, obviously. Oh, <laughs> but chocolate mess is good mess i agree i agree <laughs> oh oh my god that's really good chocolate too <laughs> um and then we built this this you know i need a kind of a cool room mm -hmm. not a fridge and not a freezer something in between so we built this with an air conditioner it's really interesting because we bought this uh tool it's called a cold pot or something like that in oh here. my gosh this is great in here exactly so it keeps the air yeah. conditioning like the room can be as cold as we want mm -hmm. it to be and it, it could actually become a freezer too if we wanted okay. it to so this is perfect for keeping the chocolate store so and i mean as far as the production goes we're still a very you know i mean a very small chocolate company we still hand paid any everything the only reason why i added on the machines was you know at this at some point we were you know producing i want to say 5,000 pieces a day before oh, wow. all this happened. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we, you know, we needed a tampering machine, obviously, because the, the quantity was already getting there where we kind of needed it. And then I also became pregnant with my first one six oh. years ago. And since tampering is kind of the hardest part about chocolate making, I wanted to make sure that this is done well. So okay. we, we bought this and, and here we are now. Nice. So with the pen, you know, opening up a store really started 11 years ago. We opened up our first store in Del Mar and then we yeah. added on the second location downtown, but then closed the Del the, the, the Mar location. And for me, it was always more of an emotional thing because I felt like you want to, but, um, you know, with what happened in, in with this year, we thought, you know, it doesn't make any sense to keep the doors open. So we closed downtown, unfortunately, and shifted. I mean, since the whole world is really changing, we shifted all of our efforts now onto online sales okay. and corporate. And, you know, in the, I really thought we were done. You know, it, it is what it is. I mean, we are one of thousands of people in the same position. But then I noticed really quickly that people are, you know, starting to spend more and more time online and you know, we started orders coming in and I thought, why don't we come up with like a chocolate survival kit? I really, you know, it's, it's more or less an assortment of vessels, but you can also pick your own chocolates. Okay. And then the packaging, you can pick between, we, did, we involved our um, social media audience with this too and said, hey, how would you guys feel if we come up with a chocolate kit? What would you name it? And we had people participate and we had one person that came up with chocolate and chill. And then there was another person with, with this one, which I thought was really clever, Sanity Saver. Oh, that's cute. And then there was another one that came up with chocolate makes everything better. So this get, gets wrapped around the lids right here. Uh -huh. And then you basically get a box of chocolates with an uplifting message, right? Okay. It's something that, you know, brings positivity to someone's maybe not so good day. And My parents, the, how I started this whole thing, I don't know if you know anything about the history, but I'm from Austria originally. And my grandfather started this business, he started Dolman in 1954, this is why it says on the packaging everywhere okay. for 1954. 
and um, so I was born in a pastry shop. My parents focus a little bit more on cakes and you know, like a typical Austrian coffee house culture, that's what they do. Uh -huh. um, and I hated it as a, as a kid because I always had to work in the business and I really, like I served some dumb German tourist coffee and I really <laughs> wasn't into it. Right. And when I became older, my, my brother became a pastry chef. I was a little bit better in school than my brother. So my parents said, well, you go to college and do whatever you want. And they had high hopes for me to become some successful lawyer or doctor. And I studied hotel and restaurant management and ended up in San Diego because I got a job here after I graduated and I never left. But then in, in the, it was the Westgate Hotel downtown and I fell right back into the family roots because somebody was inquiring about Mozart Kugels, oh, which is okay. a huge product in Austria. It's Mozart's head is on here. Not, so this is how really I fell back into the family roots and at this point I had never made a chocolate before I baked the cake. I knew nothing about what I was doing and I literally started a business with just no clue. But as a result, also no fear. Like, what can I lose? Right. I only have to yeah. gain here. <laughs> so how many varieties of chocolates do you carry? 35. 35, okay. okay. And is it all dark chocolate, some milk chocolate? Milk, or? white and dark, we have a variety of everything, really. So when we started the store, the downtown store, we didn't, you know, like everything was built with such a small budget and we didn't have any running water in the store, so we couldn't sell our product open, right? We needed this prepackaged. So we came up with these collections because you know it's, it's kind of boring to have one box of chocolate so we came up with all these collections right here okay. so we have a traditional one which is i'll show you the thing on here this is something that was my first collection i dedicated this to my grandfather because this is he, he, him on his first day when he opened up his business mm. And in this collection are his recipes and really nothing too crazy. So you have to have like a vanilla, a 60% okay. dark chocolate, hazelnut, like flavors that are not too crazy. And then I thought, you know, I did my research and I was really into Vosch, Vosch's chocolate from Chicago. Yeah, yeah. And she had like this really, her whole thing was to travel the world through chocolate. And I thought, well, this is kind of fun to have exotic flavors. So I came up with an exotic collection. This was the second one. Oops, like uh -huh. this here. And this has like flavors, you know, lemon and thyme, coconut curry, cardamom, blood orange, like wow. just kind of weird flavors. And if you dare to try something different, this will be the collection for you. And then we came up with a San Diego collection. We're really the best seller in the store because we have a lot of tourists down there and this is what yes. they will bring home. I scheduled a chocolate tasting for us, oh. uh, a virtual one, which is so cool. I, I had so much fun and oh, me as a chocolatier, I was inspired. So what I want to do is come up with a with a chocolate box, but with truffles, right? Oh, right. A nine piece yeah. box, and we, you know, so you can buy this, and then you get a, a tasting for free, and we, you know, we schedule this on a Saturday, and I'll walk you through the individual flavors, how they are made. It's it's gonna be in the kitchen, so I, I'll show you around in our facility okay. and stuff, and this is gonna be the next thing that I I think could be fun yeah you know you never know because yeah. I mean all, we are all at home and we're all bored exactly and there's a lot of people that are actually alone at home right because yeah. they don't have a significant mm -hmm. other and this might be something right. fun this is something that I want to try out and then like I said the the one-on-one -on -one virtual chocolate classes so if you want to become a chocolatier we can set this up over zoom and I tell you everything that I know about chocolate making <laughs>I would love it if there's more okay. people that could that would actually buy something okay and the easiest way to do this is to just go online buy what what you want and then there's a button that says uh, pick up at you know at this location okay. and then uh, I'll email them when the order is ready and then we can arrange the perk okay. I pick up and I'll just go outside yeah and because of that they don't have to pay the shipping right exactly yeah Perfect. yeah win-win yes win-win
me, whether that was like coming to the US was always a childhood dream of mine. I grew up with Beverly Hills 90210 and <laughs> Babe Watch and you yeah. know, all these shows. So I was like, man, I need to come and find my Dylan. And it's not that easy, especially after 9-11, you know, like, right. and here I am. I live here. I'm, you know, it's almost like a little bit of an American dream come true. Oh, 